the British Society of Gastroenterology has published guidelines on the frequency of endoscopy for patients with the Barrett's esophagus. There's a little bit of nuance in this, but essentially, if you have long segment Barrett's esophagus, that means more than three centimetres of the bottom of the esophagus uh, has changed from being the pink squamous lining to the red Barrett's lining, then you should have an endoscopy probably once every two to three years. If uh, the Barrett's esophagus is shorter than that, less than three centimetres, then it all depends on what the biopsy samples show. If the biopsy samples show something called intestinal metaplasia, then the national recommendations are an endoscopy every three to five years. And if there is no intestinal metaplasia, then in fact one shouldn't have an endoscopy at all. And the reason for that is that if there is no intestinal metaplasia in a short segment of Barrett's esophagus, the, at the risk of getting esophageal cancer is actually about one in every 1,400 years of follow-up. So rare, it's not even worth thinking about. However, if one has intestinal metaplasia, that risk rises to about one in every 400 years of follow-up. And if one has long segment Barrett's esophagus, the risks are slightly higher. Still low, still less than one in 100 years of follow-up, but high enough to make it worth doing surveillance endoscopies.